Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to my YouTube channel, Path to Wellness. Today's video is six secrets to get six pack abs. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I do appreciate that. I'm now putting out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning with a bonus video every Sunday morning. So be on the lookout. And real quick before we get started, I'm going to mention that I'm now doing fat loss and wellness coaching. So if you'd like some extra help on your path to wellness, you can send me an email or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. And those links are in the description box below the video. All right, now to get into this. So six secrets to get six pack abs. Number one, this is absolutely critical, especially if you're having trouble and you've tried everything, you need to get into intermittent fasting. Look into it, try it out. There's so many different ways you can intermittent fast and I've tried them all. I've been doing this for over three years. So I'm pretty knowledgeable on this subject. So a lot of people, they start out with that 16-8 or the lean bulking, whatever you want to call that. There's a lot of different names for it, but it's where you fast for 16 hours and you eat in an eight hour window. Now that can work for a lot of people, but if you have a lot of weight to lose and you really want to get there quicker, you're going to want to tighten up that window because eight hours is still a pretty big eating window. But if you're new to it, you can always start out with that 16-8 routine, tighten the window over time, or you can just jump right into it, but your body will need to adjust. So it could be hard at first. So that's why you might want to start out with the 16-8 and then you can slowly um, shorten that window over time until, you know, many days I only eat in a two to four hour period. Uh, quite often in a five to six hour period, just depending on what routine I'm doing. But again, if you need to lose a lot of weight, th start throwing in some 48 hour fasts, do a lot of one meal a days, and this is gonna really help you get to the ideal weight. And then once you're there, you can stick to a program that's gonna work for the rest of your life. And just with all the health benefits of intermittent fasting, I just continue to do it, feel great. So that's number one to get that six pack abs and to feel great and to be healthy, check out intermittent fasting. And I have a playlist on fasting and intermittent fasting. Check out those videos for more info as well. All right, number two is eating a clean diet. You wanna make sure you're eating as much of your diet as possible, clean whole foods, foods that are water rich, that are high in fiber, they're going to help keep you full, keep you satisfied, fill up your stomach. And especially if you're first getting started with intermittent fasting and you have that bigger eating window, you want to include more calorie dilute foods, foods that are lower in calories, you know, big salads, fruits, things like that, whole plant foods. If you tighten up that window, you can include more dense foods if you need to, to make sure you stay full, but eating clean whole foods as much as possible in your diet is huge. This is going to be great for your health, great for your weight you're gonna feel better and look better as well. So eat a clean diet, at least as much as your diet as possible, keep it clean. All right, number three is diversify your exercises. So if you're just doing the same thing every day, let's say you're going on a two mile run every single day, you're not gonna get the best results from that. You wanna mix things up, you wanna put in strength training. I love calisthenics because it's easy and you don't need to have any equipment, so I, highly encourage calisthenics, less chance of injury as well if you're not trying to lift big heavy weights, but definitely get in that strength training, do different types of exercise, mix it up, switch it up, don't just do the same thing all the time. So I also have a playlist on my YouTube channel of different exercise routines, so go ahead and check that out to get ideas. A lot of them you can do from your house, in your garage, in your living room, a lot of them you don't need any equipment, they're gonna burn fat, build muscle, help you feel great, and help build your confidence. So check out those workouts on my workout playlist. Okay, number four, the fourth secret to getting six pack abs is make sure you have plenty of recovery time and sleep. If you're not getting good sleep, if your sleep is messed up, it doesn't matter what else you're doing, you're not gonna become successful with your health. So make sure you're getting enough sleep, do whatever it takes to make sure that, you know, a lot of people need those seven to eight hours, so get those seven to eight hours. That's what I get, and I feel great when I get that. So it's huge. Also make sure you take a rest day here and there from working out. If you're working out just all the time, every single day, and you never take a day off, your body is going to get overloaded. So I noticed that some, like there's some times where I work out like five, six, seven, seven days in a row, and I noticed that when I take a rest day, I feel actually a lot better. 
So I generally tend to now work out maybe four days and then take a rest day. So figure out a schedule that works for you and try that out. Make sure you get the rest days in there. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. All right, number five, that's focus on you. Don't worry about other people and their progress so much is focus on where you've come from and where you're going because everyone is on a different point of their journey and you want to congratulate yourself on the steps you've taken and where you've gone and keep moving forward. So focus on yourself and your goals and your priorities. Number six is never give up. Keep pushing forward. Sometimes it might be two steps forward and one step back, but just keep in that direction. Keep with your goals. You're going to eventually get there. You're going to feel better and better. So that's pretty much all I have to say on this. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like the video. Share the video with other people that might need this help. And we'll see you soon. Have a good one.